oxygen and acetylene safety procedure. What is oxygen? There is approximately 20.9% oxygen in normal air. Oxygen is found naturally in the atmosphere. It is produced industrially by distilling air below its freezing point. Pure oxygen does not burn or explode. Oxygen is an accelerant, it causes everything it comes in contact with to burn hotter and faster. Air has a vapor density of 1.000. Oxygen is heavier than air, 1.105, this means if a oxygen bottle is leaking, the gas will settle in low areas before diffusing back into the atmosphere. 30% oxygen in the atmosphere will cause things to burn or explode 8 times faster. What is acetylene? Acetylene is a compound of hydrogen and carbon. C2H2, a member of the hydrocarbon gases. Explosive range is 3.0 to 93%. Needs only 10% of oxygen to ignite. Produced when calcium carbide is mixed with water. It is an unstable gas, will violently decompose when in a pure state above 15 pounds per square inch. Remember, acetylene is a very dangerous gas. Cylinders safety Cylinders must always be stood upright and be secured by a chain. When not in use, regulator mounted, they must always have a valve protection cap in place. Cylinders should be stored in a cool dry place away from direct sunlight or extreme cold. Oxygen cylinders Usually smaller in diameter and taller than acetylene. 2500 psi when full. The cylinder valve must be opened fully. You should not run an oxygen tank completely empty, no pressure. Acetylene cylinders Usually large in diameter and short. 250 psi when full. The cylinder valve should only be open three quarters of a turn. The acetylene cylinder should never be laid down as this will result in the gas becoming unstable. You should not run an acetylene completely empty, no pressure. What are the symptoms of acetylene inhalation? Dizziness Headache Fatigue Nausea Vomiting Tachycardia Tachypnea Hoses safety Red equals acetylene Green equals oxygen Do not kink hoses Keep hoses away from work area. Wrap hoses when not in use. Keep hoses away from sparks and hot metal. Oxygen acetylene safety. You must be trained and authorized before using the oxyacetylene torch. Make sure you do not have a lighter in your pocket. They can explode. Ensure gas bottles are upright and secure at all times. Do not allow oil or grease to come in contact with hoses or equipment. Perform all welding and cutting in the welding area, 
ventilation must be turned on. Approved goggles and spark-resistant clothing must be worn when using the oxyacetylene torch. Do not weld or cut a closed container. Make sure the work area is clear. Open the cylinder valves slowly, stand to the side. Light the torch with a striker, do not use a match or a lighter. When welding, bend the end of the rod to identify the hot end and to prevent high injury. When finished turn off the torch valves, turn off cylinder valves, then go back to the torch and bleed both lines. Keep the cylinder caps on when not in use. Checking for leaks. Use a proprietary leak detecting spray or solution suitable for use with XE fuel systems. Do not use soapy water or solutions containing grease or oils on oxygen systems. Never look for gas leaks with a naked flame. Immediately replace leaking components. Precautions to prevent leaks. Turn the gas supply off at the cylinder when the job is finished or before the cylinders are moved or transported. Isolate and purge or remove hoses and equipment from enclosed or poorly ventilated spaces when there is a break in work. Keep hoses away from sharp edges and abrasive surfaces or where vehicles can run over them. Do not allow hot metal or spatter to fall on hoses. Maintain all equipment and regularly check its condition. If a backfire does occur, shut off the torch valves, oxygen first and then the fuel gas. Shut off the oxygen and fuel gas cylinder valves. Cool the blowpipe with water if necessary. Check the equipment for damage or faults, particularly the nozzle. Precautions to prevent flashbacks. Use the correct lighting up procedure. Purge the hoses before lighting the torch to remove any potentially explosive gas mixtures. Use a spark igniter and light the gas quickly after turning it on. Make sure the blowpipe is fitted with spring-loaded non-return valves. Use the correct gas pressures and nozzle size for the job. Maintain the equipment in good condition. Precautions for fire, burns from misuse of oxygen. Never use oxygen to blow dust off clothing. Never attempt to improve air quality inside confined spaces by releasing oxygen in the space. Never allow oil or grease to come into contact with oxygen valves or cylinder fittings. Only use equipment designed for use with oxygen. In particular, check that the regulator is safe for oxygen and for the cylinder pressure. Precautions to prevent burns from contact with the flame. Work in a safe location away from other people. Wear protective clothing, boots, gauntlets and eye protection. Shut off the torch when not in use. Do not leave a lighted torch on a bench or the floor as the force of the flame may cause it to move. Clamp the workpiece, avoid holding it by hand. 
precautions to prevent injury when handling and transporting cylinders. Prevent cylinders from falling or being knocked over by securing them with a stout chain or strap. It is normal to chain them to a wheel trolley or against a wall. Avoid moving a cylinder by tilting it on its base and rolling it. It is better to use a trolley. If transported in a road vehicle, the cylinders should be secured so they don't come loose in an accident. Precautions for prevent fire Move the workpiece to a safe location for carrying out hot work. Remove nearby combustible materials, such as flammable liquids, wood, paper, textiles, packaging or plastics. Protect nearby combustible materials that cannot be moved. Use suitable guards or covers such as metal sheeting mineral fiber boards or fire retardant blankets. Check that there are no combustible materials hidden behind walls or in partitions, particularly if the welding or cutting will go on for some time. Use flame resistant sheets or covers to prevent hot particles passing through openings in floors and walls, doorways, windows, cable runs, etc. If the consequences of a fire are severe, for example work inside ships, you may need to appoint a fire watch during and after the work finishes. It is normal to maintain fire watch for 30 minutes after hot work finishes. Prevent flame, heat, sparks or hot spatter from landing on the hoses. Keep fire extinguishers nearby. What is the safe distance between oxygen and acetylene cylinders? Oxygen cylinders in storage shall be separated from fuel gas cylinders or combustible materials, a minimum distance of 20 feet, 6.1 meters. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.